The last key component of China's Feng Yun-2 meteorological satellite network has been launched into space. The Feng Yun-2H will operate in geostationary orbit, meaning it will travel at the same pace as the Earth rotates, effectively maintaining a constant position along the equator. Its location was planned to improve the accuracy of weather forecasting for China, as well as Belt and Road countries extending into Africa. We made the adjustment in response to the request from the World Meteorological Organization and countries along the Belt and Road Initiative. Now it can better cover the Indian Ocean, Central Asia, the Middle East, and part of Africa. While satellites from developed countries already covered most regions, there was gap over the Indian Ocean, where weather forecasting has been less accurate and damage from natural disasters is double the world average. With the Feng Yin 2H, the world distribution of geostationary satellites is more reasonable. In regions where satellites are sparse, such as Central Asia, our country can do something for the world. China has helped Pakistan, Indonesia, Thailand, Iran and Mongolia establish ground stations to receive the data. And it says its weather forecasting service will be free for countries in the Belt and Road Initiative and those in the Asia-Pacific Space Cooperation Organization. Basically, the Feng Yun 2H captures a picture every half hour. When there is a typhoon, the satellite can carry out more frequent observations to capture one photo every six minutes, which will make the forecast more accurate. After four months of in-orbit testing, the new satellite will complete China's Feng Yun 2 network. Designers say the network has predicted more than 400 typhoons over the past two decades. Now China's focus will turn to its next-generation Feng Yun 4 series satellites. Early last month, a Feng Yun 4A, the first of its kind, began to serve users in the Asia-Pacific region. Francis Ko, CGTN.